Hey everyone, <clears throat> today's video on Eternal Information Technology Group will be me showing uh, a playing a game and running Firmark on the old gaming computer I have over here. It is the same one as you've seen in previous videos. It's the uh, Core i7-860 system with a 1050 Ti SC. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I will be showing how many frame rates I get in the game as well as its max temps, uh, and its full clock speed one maxed out. Hope you enjoy the show. Hello everyone, uh, as you can see I'm currently running a stress test using Geeks 3D for Mark. Um, if you look at the bottom, my uh, GPU is running at 30 degrees Celsius. One reason it's running that hot right now is because I tried doing another video recording. And, uh, well, let's just say some stuff happened and my computer crashed and I lost all my data. Because I didn't uh, click finish recording, so... I'm going to see if I can track down where it stores the temp files on my hard drive and try to break, get them back. But, as you can see, I'm running at about, let's say, 50 frames FPS at max. I'm running a GTX 1050 Ti SC. Drag CPU HD monitor over here so you can see. Here's proof that I'm running it on an Intel Core i7-860 system. Uh, <clears throat> I am wire cooling this with an AIO from Corsair. It is 120 millimeter rad. Uh, I have the pump plugged basically straight into the PSU using an adapter on a mulch cable. Uh, and this ain't even pushing the video card to its full potential. I will show you the full potential of the card in a second on how fast it can actually go. Drag you back over here. Let's see, how do I cancel for a mark again? Ah, there we go. We'll fire up a uh, game real quick. Let's see. Where is my Steam? Jump to Fallout 4. And play. As you can see, it's running at approximate 60 FPS. <clears throat> uh, continue. Enter. I'm going to show you right here now using the uh, launcher, my Fat Man, to basically force the GPU to run hard because launching infinite nukes is, can be hard on a system. Well, technically infinite, just because I'm going to keep pulling the trigger on it. Uh, it used to load faster. I wound up having to put the SSDs back onto my SATA 2 ports. When I installed the heat sink assembly for the GTX 1050 Ti, it blocked my uh, X1 slots that I was originally using for my SSDs for four ports of SATA 3 speeds. But, oh, right. Toggle God Mode, so y'all can see. Whee! As you can see, I'm barely dropping any, and my GPU is running at 1658. It maxed out at 1810, which I'll bring over here in a second so y'all can see it. Private property. No trespassing. Ooh, I know what this is, I think. Not the area. But, let's see. As you can see, and as you can hear, I am launching a crap ton of nukes. <clears throat> and yet, I'm only dropping at most like 25. 
and there's really no stutter. My CPU is max, not maxed out. Nice. It's running at about 87 to 91. Oh, just launch the freaking things, will ya? Thank you. Oh, I forgot about that. Have a nice spout. Game still completely playable, at least to me. One of the reasons to buy a video card this cheap is because you cannot afford a better one. The 1050 Ti SC was an upgrade from a 650 Ti SC I used to run. Uh, ignore the spandex. Um, the reason I upgraded was because I was having a few stuttering issues and for some odd reason when I had a dual or triple screen setup, Fallout 4 would not run unless it was in window mode. I don't know if that's because of the drivers or just the 650 Ti's inability to run on this particular system. Uh, <clears throat> but, let's see, drop the 20 finally. Let's see what happens when I do point blank impact. Hmm. But, I'm not having any issues. Uh, but, that right there is proof that it runs fine for me. Uh, probably for others as well. This is on a 1080. HD 1080 uh, television. I don't have money for 4K. And as I said before, my channel is about mostly showing that old technology still has use. I might use a new part here and there, like SSDs or a uh, higher end video card. But if you're basically saving money in the long term on your rest of your components, it pretty much evens out because. In my opinion, you can keep upgrading as long as the parts are that you buy that are new are backwards compatible. Bringing hardware monitor over here so you can see it. <clears throat> as you can see, my CPU it was at 55 degrees Celsius when it was maxed out on all cores. My GPU uh, CPU temps were maxed out at about 30 degrees, 33 degrees Celsius, 91 Fahrenheit. Uh, ignore the fan settings. I don't actually have the fan hooked up to it. Whenever you buy a heat sink assembly from Arctic for your GPU, it comes with an adapter cable to hook it to your power supply so the fans run. And as in here, fans aren't even loud at all. They're nice and quiet. You can hook them to two different uh, cables for two different speeds. I have mine maxed out. Uh, GPU maxed out at 99%, but as you can see here, it was running at 1.8 gigahertz, 1800 megahertz, whoever wants to mess around with whatever. Anyways, the, the memory was running at 3500 megahertz. Uh, as you can see down here, I maxed out my memory pretty much. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed this nice little test of first generation i7 hardware using a 1050 Ti SC and SSDs for storage. Uh, is. You'll see my outro in a minute mainly because I'm going to record myself with my GoPro camera. See you in a minute. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if someone wants to talk to me old hardware, things like that to test so that I can see what the capabilities of old hardware are, then let me know and I'll tell you how to get it to me. Um, one of the things I eventually want to try and do is run 32 gig memory in the system, uh, mainly because there's a rumor that a few people have managed to get i7-860s to run with that much memory. I don't know if it's true. It'd be an interesting video to find out what the true max capabilities of the CPU are. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I hope I showed well enough what I think is a good video for a setup like this. This is my first time running live benchmarks using a recorder. The video will look a little bit choppy because I didn't use a pass-through or any other kind of uh, hardware I need to record my screen. I uh, use software. My video editor, Filmora, is what I used. 
It has the capability of recording screen overs, voiceovers, and recording from my webcam. Uh, it's a really good software for those who are new to YouTube. It is very intuitive. It is very, very easy to use. It's what I've been using for the past uh, three, four months. Uh, if you like my video, drop a like. If you dislike it, please explain why you disliked it in the comments if you press dislike. I will always try to stay true to old technology and showing how it can still be used. <clears throat> uh, if I go off that, I'll explain why I did something different. Uh, hope y'all have a good day, night, whatever time zone you're in. Uh, see y'all later.